They claimed the James Webb Space Telescope had spotted a massive object, 10 light years away, moving toward Earth. But this wasn't rumor, it was data, real, verifiable, and unlike anything astronomers had ever seen. Because for the first time in history, Webb had captured a real image of an ancient interstellar visitor, a body now known as 3i Atlas, and what Webb revealed changed everything. This wasn't just another wandering comet, it was a chemical time capsule from another star system, older than our sun, and possibly older than the solar system itself. Its composition defies physics, its motion breaks the rules, and its message, if it has one, may have been written before Earth even existed. The moment it appeared, it began quietly. July 2025, the Atlas Survey System in Chile detected a faint object, moving oddly against the background of distant stars. At first, it looked like a normal comet, but the deeper astronomers dug, the clearer it became that this was not from here. Its speed was staggering, over 210,000 kilometers per hour, far too fast to be bound by the sun's gravity. Its trajectory was hyperbolic, meaning it would pass through our solar system once and never return. For context, Taumuamua came first, Borisov came second, both changed science, but 3i Atlas would redefine it. By August 6, 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope was locked on target, and what it saw left mission control silent. Webb's historic capture, using its near-infrared spectrograph, Webb tracked the comet's faint glow, threading a moving speck through the stars, from nearly a million miles away at the L2 point. Every pixel in that image told a story, the story of a traveler from another sun, the data wasn't just a photo, it was a chemical map of an alien world frozen in time. Infrared wavelengths from 0.6 to 5.3 micrometers revealed a dense carbon dioxide dominated atmosphere, a glowing shell of gas called a coma. Unlike anything in our system, for the first time, humanity was looking directly at the molecular fingerprint of a visitor from another star. The chemical shock, the numbers stunned everyone, in most comets, water dominates. Here, it barely existed. Webb's analysis showed a ratio of eight parts carbon dioxide to one part water vapor, a value never recorded in the history of astronomy. That meant the object was venting gas from compounds that sublimate at far lower temperatures than ice. It was awake where it should be asleep, active in the cold, deep beyond Jupiter. This wasn't a dirty snowball. It was a frozen engine releasing carbon gases in patterns no natural comet could explain. And then came the second shock. Webb's instruments detected nickel in the coma, pure metallic nickel, but no iron. In every natural environment known to science, nickel and iron are born together, forged in the same supernovae, inseparable cosmic twins. But in 3i Atlas, the bond was broken. Nickel without iron, a chemical separation so extreme it implied either an alien environment or artificial refining. Something had made this comet's chemistry impossible. The unnatural calm. Normally, comets are chaotic. They spin, wobble, and sputter as jets of vapor push them off course. But 3i Atlas refused to move. Despite heavy outgassing, its trajectory remained perfectly stable. No measurable recoil. No irregular acceleration. That's unheard of. Either the comet was incredibly dense, billions of tons of solid mass, or it was being stabilized. Even its brightness curve was unnervingly precise, rising and falling in smooth, mechanical intervals, as if responding to timing rather than sunlight. Some astronomers whispered, this thing behaves like it's under control, older than our solar system. Models suggest 3i Atlas may be between 3 and 11 billion years old, meaning it formed long before our sun even ignited. It may be a fragment from a star system that no longer exists, a survivor of some violent event in the galaxy's infancy. As it drifted through the void for billions of years, it endured radiation storms, impacts and frozen silence. Yet somehow it remained active, preserving its chemistry like a sealed vault from cosmic history. When we study its gases today, we are literally reading a chemical diary. From the dawn of the Milky Way, the multi-observatory race. Once Webb's data dropped, every telescope on Earth turned toward it. The Hubble Space Telescope saw it first in visible light, a teardrop of dust 277 million miles away. 
Ground observatories like Gemini South tracked its changing tail as it twisted and brightened, while the Swift Observatory confirmed faint traces of oxygen and water. For the first time, astronomers on three continents and in orbit coordinated real-time tracking of a single interstellar object, a collaboration that turned the night sky into a global laboratory, and every new reading made the mystery deeper. Polarimetric data showed its light was polarized in impossible ways, as if its dust particles were engineered to scatter light with unnatural precision. That combination, high nickel, low iron, deep polarization, has never appeared in any known comet. This wasn't just unusual, it was unique. The structure that shouldn't exist, estimates place its nucleus between 1.4 and 5.6 kilometers wide. But what shocked scientists most was its near total resistance to solar wind recoil. It should be flung off course by its own gas jets. Instead, it glides through space, as if anchored to an invisible track. It's almost deliberate, as if something massive inside is compensating for every push a natural gyroscope or something else. Its outgassing pattern is symmetrical, its structure rigid, its path perfect. No comet should behave this way. And yet here it is, a machine disguised as ice. The one-time visitor, 3i Atlas will make its closest approach to the sun in late October 2025, then vanish forever into the void. It's a one-time visitor, a messenger passing through, never to return, but before it disappears, it will pass behind the sun. From our point of view, a perfect blind spot that will hide it during the most active phase of its journey. When it re-emerges, it may look completely different, fragmented, transformed, or silent. A message from before time, some scientists believe 3 i Atlas could carry organic molecules older than Earth itself, carbon-based compounds that hint at life seeds traveling between stars. Others see it as evidence of something far more deliberate a relic, a probe, or a cosmic message that predates civilization itself. Whatever it is, the truth lies frozen inside a body that has drifted across billions of years. To pass once, only once, through our sky, the legacy of Webb, in a single image, the James Webb Space Telescope did more than just photograph a comet. It captured a piece of galactic memory, a frozen witness from the birth of worlds. It proved that we can not only see into deep space, but into deep time. And it reminded us that sometimes, the universe doesn't send signals in radio waves or light pulses, but in silence, in the quiet drift of something ancient that simply passes by to remind us how little we truly know. Thanks for watching. While you're still here, click the video on your screen to continue the story and discover what happened when Webb caught the final transmission from 3i Atlas before it went dark, because this may not be the last time something from deep space comes knocking.